Block play is an essential part of our classroom here at Imagination. We use blocks to help students develop their skills, such as hand-eye coordination, fine motor skills, um, cooperating with peers, being able to plan a building and build it up. So we have uh, trains in our block area that was a child interest. They really enjoyed that. That was something that they sought out. So we use them to help them um, encourage building and ramps and structures and uh, how to balance the trains and make overpasses and things like that. And they experimented with it and then modeled it for their peers and showed them how to do it. And then they worked together collaboratively with, collaboratively with the tracks. The students used wooden ramps to explore energy force in motion. So they would put the ramps with different sized balls and experiment with how fast they went or how slow and what things worked and what didn't. And then they would go into the class. Our class went in, grabbed a pumpkin, and they wanted to see if that would roll as well. They see, they observe what goes faster, and in that, they're learning energy force and motion. They're really going at that science that you wouldn't normally think about in black play, but they're really using those skills to observe what is happening. It's important for students to interact with each other, to be in that space together, because then they can learn from each other. They are able to build their social and emotional skills, and they're able to resolve conflicts, and if not, we are able to help them and be that additional person to guide the play and encourage them to figure out how to navigate the classroom on their own and independently so that when the time comes they're able to do that in the real world and in the classrooms and kindergarten. With the Reggio approach you want to add things that are natural or that are tools that actual you know workers would use. That's one of the great things about the museum is that we have access to tools and things like that so if they are engaged in building in the block area we can bring them up here for additional lessons and they can build more and actually use the materials and learn more about the role of a carpenter or, con or a contractor and things like that.